Greetings, Peace United Methodist Church members. My name is Dawn Hawthorne, and I am your lay church representative. At the annual conference, Alice Williams was nominated and approved by an overwhelming majority to be our next conference lay leader. She will serve in this position from 2020 to 2024. Bishop Carter will continue to serve as the resident bishop for the Florida Conference, and he reminded us that Florida is known as a back battleground, st battleground state and appealed to United Methodist members to participate in our democracy and to do so with a heart of peace and love that transcends all that divides us in our state. This, the bishop stated, will require maturity and grace in the weeks ahead. Bishop Carter, in his summary of what is important to the life of the church, highlighted two key initiatives, fill the table and anti-racism. The first priority is vitality, sustainability, and innovation in our local churches in light of the pandemic. He praised church leaders who use the science to guide them in reopening the church. Through vitality, sustainability, and innovation, Fill the Table initiative allows the church to reach out to others in the community and to provide three million meals to our neighbors who are made vulnerable by the pandemic throughout the state of Florida. Donations were asked for and can be given to support this endeavor to reach that goal of three million meals um, by logging into fillthetable.org. The second initiative is the Anti-Racism Task Force. This was developed to d dismantle racism. The task force consists of three teams, training and accountability, public policy and witness, and beloved committee. Each team will consist of 20 people. Bishop Carter states that anti-racism is the work of discipleship. Anti-racism, he states, is discipleship. It is the work of the Holy Spirit and what God is doing in our lives. Bishop Carter charges each of us to acknowledge that racism exists, to build committees and relationship to address racism, and move towards action to dismantle racism. One such um, collaboration was highlighted this collaboration is between the members of the Florida Conference and the Reverend David Allen, who is a faculty member at Bethune-Cookman University. This is a historic black university. They worked tirelessly and they issued a statement that I will now read to you. Members of the Florida Conference affirm that all people are sacred worth, created by God and blessed with the dignity bestowed by such an origin. We affirm the truth that black lives matter to God, to the church, and to the world. We stand in alignment with the book of disciple and our social principles, which reminds us that racism is a sin that undermines our Wesleyan theology. It is anti-ethical, to the teachings of Jesus Christ. We confess that we have and continue to fail to address the issues of personal and systemic racism, and we commit to a future of ongoing confession, repentance, and sanctification. Therefore, the Florida Annual Conference does not support, condone, or excuse any forms of racism. Since our faith is one of both word and deed, we will hold each other accountable to the work of racial justice, remembering that the Book of Disciples holds racism as a chargeable offense in the United Methodist Church. Let us provoke one another to the good of anti-racism through prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. This work is both a means of discipleship and witness to the good and holy God that we serve. I found this statement very profound. And finally, 
The motion to approve the next annual conference face-to-face -face was approved. That date is June 10th to the 12th, 2021. The location is Florida Southern College in Lakeland, Florida. And also approved was a tentative date in 2022, and that date will be June 9th through the 11th, location to be determined. Thank you.